Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you had a clone? Imagine being able to share your responsibilities, preserve your health, or even fight diseases together. But what if cloning became the norm? Today, we're going to talk about how artificial intelligence and genetics could completely reshape the future of cloning in the United States. These aren't just ideas from science fiction, but real technologies that are advancing quickly. We'll explore how scientists are currently cloning animals, how these technologies could one day be used for human cloning, and the ethical and legal challenges that could arise as this technology develops. How does it work? We all remember the groundbreaking moment in science when Dolly the sheep was successfully cloned. This event was a sig milestone, showcasing the potential of cloning technology. Since then, the field has made remarkable strides, and today, scientists have advanced beyond cloning just sheep. They've successfully cloned dogs, cows, and even some exotic animals. The progress in animal cloning doesn't stop there. In fact, animal cloning is now being used for a variety of purposes. Beyond simply replicating animals, cloning plays a crucial role in preserving endangered species. With the technology available today, scientists can clone animals that are at risk of extinction, helping to maintain biodiversity and protect rare species. But the possibilities don't end with animals. Cloning has also begun to make a real difference in the medical field. Scientists are now exploring the potential of cloning organs for transplant purposes. This means that in the near future, it could be possible to create organs tailored for transplant patients, significantly reducing waiting times and the risk of organ rejection. These advancements in cloning could save countless lives, opening doors to life-saving medical treatments that once seemed unimaginable. Imagine a world where through the analysis of the human genome using artificial intelligence, it becomes possible to not only clone a person, but also create organs to save lives. This concept is not purely science fiction anymore. In fact, AI is already playing a crucial role in predicting genetic mutations with remarkable accuracy. By using vast datasets, AI can help scientists pinpoint genetic errors that may lead to diseases, allowing for early intervention and more effective treatments. In the context of cloning, this technology can improve the precision of the process, making it safer and more viable for medical applications. In the near future, AI could be involved in creating human clones with specific genetic enhancements. Imagine a world where these clones are designed to be immune to certain diseases or genetically modified to have longer lifespans. Some experts even speculate that AI could eventually help us unlock the secrets of immortality by designing human clones with enhanced resilience against aging. While this may sound like something out of a futuristic novel, we are already witnessing the beginnings of this possibility in the way AI is used to analyze and manipulate genetic data. But the big question remains, can AI create the perfect human? And if so, what would this mean for the rest of us? The ethical implications are enormous, and we are only beginning to grapple with these questions. One of the most exciting developments in the realm of genetics is the rise of gene editing technologies like CRISPR. With CRISPR, scientists now have the ability to make precise changes to the DNA of living organisms, including humans. This opens up new frontiers for cloning, particularly in the creation of human organs for transplantation. Today, there are approximately 100,000 people in the United States waiting for organ transplants, and every year, thousands die due to the shortage of available organs. If gene editing and cloning technologies advance, we could be looking at a future where human organs are cloned and tailored for specific patients, eliminating the need for long waiting lists and the risk of organ rejection. Scientists are already experimenting with the cloning of human cells and tissues. For example, in 2021, Researchers successfully cloned human embryos for the first time, producing viable stem cells. While this was a breakthrough, we are still a long way from fully cloning human organs for transplants. But the progress is undeniable, and experts predict that within the next few decades, cloning human organs could become a routine part of medical care. Human cloning is no longer confined to the realm of science fiction. As advances in AI and gene editing continue to accelerate, we are moving closer to a world where human cloning may be used for medical purposes. Imagine a person suffering from a life-threatening condition like cancer. In the future, cloning technology could allow doctors to create a clone of that individual's organs, 
effectively providing a backup for vital organs that could one day fail. This could drastically change the landscape of medicine, offering patients a second chance when traditional treatments fail. Some experts suggest that cloning might one day be used to treat degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, where the cloning of healthy cells could be used to regenerate damaged brain tissue. Additionally, clones could be used to address genetic disorders, offering individuals the chance to start life with a healthier set of genes. This raises the possibility of not only treating diseases, but potentially preventing them before they even begin. The idea of cloning for medical purposes could mean the possibility of restarting the human body when it no longer functions properly. Instead of relying on organ donations from others, we could have access to perfectly matched organs cloned from our own cells. While this may sound like an extraordinary leap, the advancements we're seeing today in AI and genetics are laying the groundwork for such a future. The potential for revolutionizing medicine is immense, but with these advancements come significant ethical and societal considerations that we must carefully navigate. As cloning technology advances and the possibility of human cloning becomes a reality, one major question arises, who decides who gets cloned? Would clones be created for medical purposes, such as organ harvesting, or could cloning be used for personal reasons, like creating a perfect version of someone? If human cloning becomes feasible, the very nature of human existence will be challenged. Clones could face a lifetime of questions about their origins, their identity, and their place in society. In a world where human cloning is common, how would society view cloned individuals? Would they be recognized as full citizens with the same rights as everyone else? Or would they be seen as subhuman, lesser beings created solely for specific purposes? This could lead to profound changes in how we define humanity and the value we place on human life. Imagine the implications for family dynamics. Would a clone be considered a child or merely a copy? How would parents, siblings, and society at large treat them? Furthermore, if cloning technology is applied to create genetically enhanced individuals, it may prompt an entirely new set of ethical dilemmas. These genetically modified clones may possess extraordinary traits or capabilities. Would they be accepted or would they be regarded as unnatural, disrupting the social order? Would a clone, even if created from the same genetic material, ever truly be considered a real person? All of this challenges our very conception of identity, individuality, and what it means to be human. Would we still value human diversity if we could engineer and clone humans for perfection? Or would we lose the fundamental aspects of what makes us unique and valuable as individuals? While the cloning of animals is already a reality and regulated in the US, human cloning presents a different set of challenges. In the United States, there is currently no federal law explicitly prohibiting or permitting human cloning. As the technology advances, there will be significant legal considerations to address. Who would own the rights to a cloned human? If a person is cloned, does the clone inherit any legal rights? And if so, to what extent? Are they simply a replica? Or do they have the same legal status as an individual born through traditional methods? This opens a Pandora's box of legal complexities. For example, could clones inherit from their originals? Or would their legal identity be separate? Would cloned people be treated the same as non-cloned individuals when it comes to voting, owning property, and other fundamental rights? These legal frameworks need to be established to ensure fairness and equality for all individuals, including clones. And then there's the question of regulation. Who would oversee the use of cloning technologies? Would the government impose regulations that restrict who can clone and under what circumstances? Perhaps the US would establish separate laws for human cloning, placing strict controls on its use, or alternatively, banning it entirely. It's also possible that new laws would be introduced to address the creation of genetically modified clones, a step forward in human evolution that could challenge the boundaries of ethical and legal norms. Looking ahead, the US is likely to face new legal challenges as cloning technology develops. As more companies and researchers explore cloning and gene editing, lawmakers will need to step in and ensure that these advances are used ethically and responsibly. Discussions about cloning and genetic modification will undoubtedly spark debates on personal freedoms, bodily autonomy, and human rights. 
Could laws be enacted to protect cloned individuals from exploitation, discrimination, or even being seen as commodities? How do we balance the potential for scientific progress with the preservation of human dignity? These are questions that need to be answered in the coming decades, as cloning moves from a scientific novelty to a potential medical and social norm. New legal frameworks will be required, and they will undoubtedly be subject to intense public scrutiny and political debate. The future of cloning in the U.S. will require a careful balance between innovation and ethics, technology and humanity. What if cloning became a routine part of human life? We might live in a world where people could customize themselves or even design their children through genetic selection. Today, artificial intelligence already assists scientists in analyzing genomes, predicting inherited traits, and identifying genetic mutations. In the near future, this could evolve into a system where individuals can be cloned with specific enhancements, superior intelligence, athletic performance, or even extended lifespan. Some experts believe that combining AI-driven genetic modification with cloning could lead to the creation of optimized humans, tailored for specific roles in society. Would these enhanced clones be considered part of humanity, or would they exist in a separate category? How would this impact natural human evolution? Another scenario involves the use of cloned humans as a dedicated workforce. If cloning technology advances to the point where fully functional and healthy human replicas can be created, would they be assigned specific tasks in industries requiring physical labor, such as construction, mining, or even space exploration? Ethical concerns arise here. Would cloned individuals have the same rights as naturally born humans? If their primary purpose is labor, would they be treated as workers or as mere property? Similar ethical dilemmas have been explored in science fiction, such as in movies like Blade Runner or The Island, where cloned humans struggle for autonomy. Economically, a world where clones exist in the workforce could change global employment markets. If businesses could grow their own workers, would traditional jobs become obsolete? And how would governments regulate labor rights for artificially created humans? If human cloning became widely accessible, we would see major shifts in social structures. How would relationships work if people could make a copy of themselves? Would clones be treated as independent individuals, or would they always be seen as extensions of their original counterparts? The economy would also undergo drastic changes. If people could continuously replace damaged organs or even clone entire replacement bodies, how would the healthcare and insurance industries evolve? Would immortality become a reality for those who could afford endless self-replication? Moreover, cultural and religious perspectives on identity and the soul would be challenged. Many belief systems define individuality as something unique and unrepeatable cloning could shake the very foundation of these ideas. The future of cloning is just beginning. And while we may not have all the answers today, one thing is clear. It will change the way we think about life, identity, and what it means to be human. Let's hope we can navigate this new frontier with wisdom and responsibility. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more exciting insights into the future of science and technology.